Welcome to a top 5 video for Rome Total War. It's been a while since I've done one, uh, but today this is one I've wanted to do for a while and it's to look into the temples in Rome Total War, as each one provides like different bonuses and some of them, some of them are really interesting. So, first of all, let's just start off. Number 5 is for Thrace. The Temple of Ares provides a morale boost per temple, so Tier 1 is quite bad, which is why it didn't make it that high on the list. Uh, tier 1 only provides 5% public order, but Tier 2 plus 1 morale, Tier 3 plus 2 morale, and so on. You can get plus 4 morale once you maximise the temple. It's up here because it's an interesting one, and morale is obviously quite good to get. Especially in the harder difficulties, you need every bit of morale you can possibly find. But of course, it starts off with a very bad tier 1 at only 5% public order, so yeah, it's only made it on 5th place. On 4th place, we have Egypt, the Temple of Set, and simply because of the amount of public order that this creates, 60% uh, public order, plus 10% health, plus 1% growth, that's quite a lot. Now, there's nothing too special here, it's mostly just like normal stuff, but... It's the best of the normal stuff. 60% public order. Wow, that's that, that's a lot. That, that's a lot. So yeah. Fourth place is Egypt, Temple of Set. In third, we have the Spanish Temple of Essus. Um, first of all, it allows at Tier 2, Naked Fanatics. But at Tier 3, Bull Warriors. Now, if Spain did not have this temple... It'll be a useless faction. Uh, Bull Warriors are the only thing, arguably, that Spain has going for them. And I guess Naked Fanatics as well are their only good units. So yeah. Oh, for obvious reasons, this had to make it onto the list. They're just, without this temple, the entire faction cannot really survive. Now I've got two more that I do want to bring up that I didn't make it onto this list, but are interesting. First of all, Macedon. Especially that Temple of Artemis. Now, all of Macedon's temples are really good. Um, they also each provide a food production bonus and some good military boosts as well, all the way from tier 1, which is nice to see. So yeah, they, basically whatever direction you're going to go in, you're going to get some military advantages. But the Temple of Artemis in particular, because it provides a missile boost. So if you start recruiting some uh, good Macedonian archers with that boost, they're going to be really deadly, I think. Can you even retrain mercenaries? I can't remember if you can, but if you can, then imagine that. Uh, Cretan archers with this extra uh, boost towards them if you have the Temple of Artemis. And another one I wanted to bring up was the Scipii Temple of Neptune, uh, which requires a port, but uh, once it's maxed out to its highest level, you get access to two unique ships the Decaera and the Covus Quinkareem. So yeah, of course, this temple's a good one, uh, gives you a massive advantage on the seas, but to be honest, that's all it does. And if you're playing as a Scipii, by the time you get to the third tier, chances are you're not going to need them. You've conquered most of the Mediterranean that you need. You've already got sea dominance. Do you really need, like better ships, not at this point, so it is a good one, but it's also kind of useless by the time you actually get access to it. In second place, we have the German Temple of Woden. At Tier 2, it allows Naked Fanatics, and at Tier 3, Gothic Cavalry. Now, it's better than the Temple of Dona, which allows Berserkers, uh, because this one allows Cavalry, and... Yeah, I prefer cavalry gameplay and the decent cavalry as well, so... It depends on your playstyle really, but I prefer cavalry, so... Uh, to me, the Temple of Warden for the Germans is very high valued. Although the Temple of Frasier allows screeching women, so... That one might also be a little overpowered. <laughs> oh, what a rubbish temple. Yeah, but Temple of Warden, definitely so much better. Uh, the Gauls also have the Temple of Teutatis, which allows the Naked Fanatics at Tier 2. 
but that's all it allows. It doesn't have the gothic travel with, so that's just a, a weaker version of the Temple of Warden. And last, but certainly not least, in first place, we have the British Temple. The Temple of Andrasta, which from Tier 1 allows Woad Warriors. This is the only temple, to the best of my knowledge, that gives you good units, or I think any units at all, from Tier 1, the first tier. Spend 300 or 400 denarii, build this temple at Tier 1, and you get access to those really good Woad Warriors. And not only that, it, it allows Head Hurlers as well at Tier 2, which are also, you know, not the best, but I guess they're okay, it's, it's something else. But the fact that you get Ward Warriors, Tier 1, that, that, that's quite good in my opinion. So yeah, that's just a very basic list of my 5 favourite temples in Rome Total War. And speaking of a phrase one at number 5, um, a phrase Let's Play is coming up on Friday the 29th of November, so not too far away. And yeah, I do definitely want to try out that temple and see how good it really is. Maybe it deserved higher, but you know, because it starts so bad at tier 1, I, I didn't think it deserved. It deserved a place on the top 5 list, but no higher than number 5. But yeah, just saying it'll be fun to use in my Let's Play. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please share if you know anyone who will be interested. Please do subscribe if you want to see more. And goodbye.